Hey guys, welcome back. So today I have a stocking stuffer video. So for those of you that don't know, I have a four and a half year old daughter and a one and a half year old son. So the gifts that I have bought are age appropriate to my kids, obviously. Um, so if you have kids the same age, then maybe you'll find something interesting here. Um, but I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna start with Owens because he's got much less than Taylor. Um, He's only one and a half, so he's not going to really understand the whole Christmas thing like she is. Next year, I'm going to do just exactly the same for both of them, just, you know, maybe different versions of the same thing. But this year, um, it was too, the, the age difference and the fact that he's so young, wouldn't it wouldn't have worked. So I'll show you what I got for him. Um, first up, I got a drink bottle. He goes through drink bottles like mad. Um, they just seem to get lost or they get ruined or anything. So I've got him another little drink bottle to go in his stocking. It's just a small one, um, which is really good to just chuck in your handbag. So I've got that one. I've got him a pack of magnets for the fridge. I think I showed these in a haul. Um, they're just little wooden, um, I think they're all animals, farm animals, different little things. What does it say? It just says magnetic animals. Um, they're from Kmart. They were about $3, I think. So they were just a really affordable option. Just for something a little bit fun for him in there. Because um, his stocking is not really very fun, actually. It's all quite practical. Um, I also got him a toothbrush. Because, again, you need a toothbrush all the time. And it's great to put practical things in stockings that are also a little bit fun. Um, and then I got him some toothpaste, which is just the milk teeth one because he's only a baby. Um, he's not very good at brushing his teeth yet. He just likes to basically eat the toothpaste. So I also got for his little treat in his stocking, I got him a pack of strawberry yogurt buttons by Rafferty's Garden. Um, I know these aren't very exciting, but he likes these and he never gets to have them. So that's what we have gone for. Um, I like this brand. He seems to enjoy it. So that's what he's got it's his little snacky treat, which I know I'm such a mean mum, I'm not giving him chocolate, but that's how I roll. Um, and then I have got them, well, I got them both a little ornament. This is from Bed, Bath & Table. Um, this one obviously is a little mouse, I think. Obviously, is that a little mouse? It says it's a mouse in the label. It's a little mouse. He's dressed up like a soldier. Um, I thought he was really cute. I figured I'm going to start buying um, one little ornament a year for the Christmas trees that they have in their bedrooms. Um, or maybe one day I'll actually let them decorate this Christmas tree with a whole bunch of different ornaments and not just plain baubles. So he's got that one to start his collection. Uh, it was $8.95 on the tag, but I'm pretty sure these were all on sale. I'll show you the one that I got for Taylor as well that goes with it. So that was Owen's entire stocking, poor little thing. But I only have small stockings, so there's the, that, that will all sort of fill it up. So. Yeah, Taylor's is a little bit more exciting. Um, but for Taylor, again, I got her a drink bottle. She's starting pre-primary next year. She did kindy this year and they didn't do drink bottles. They did, um, they all just had cups in the classroom, but next year I'm pretty sure they're gonna have drink bottles. So I got her a new drink bottle that can be specifically for her kindy bag. Um, and this is a nice, it's a metal one. It's by Decor. And I just got it from Woolies, it was only a few dollars, but it's one that has the straw, I'm pretty sure. A straw, so. That one shall be good for her drink bottle and it's nice and bright so she'll be able to see it in her bag much easier. Um, I also got her a new toothbrush. She got the princess's one and it's a little bit glittery so she'll like that and it's pink. Her favourite colour is pink and every time something is pink she gets very, very excited. Um, and then I also got her toothpaste which is the Dora one which is the one that she uses. Next I got her one of the little Shopkins magazines. She loves Shopkins, but we've kind of got too many, so I didn't want to go ahead and buy like a pack of Shopkins. Um, but she really likes having these magazines, and it does come with one little Shopkins in there, so that was good. Um, I basically just went to Woolies and Big W for everything here, so I keep stockings quite low key. But yeah, there's that. Um, I also got her in the same kind of vein, I guess. Um, these little ones a puppy in my pocket, and ones a kitty in my pocket. So these are like little blind bags that you can get for the kids, and then obviously. There is a puppy in this one. It'll be one of these ones, but we don't know which one. And the kitties, it'll be one of these ones. There's not much of a range of kitties, but she really, really, she keeps asking for these. Every time we go to the stores, she asks for one of these, and she has only ever had one. So now she's got a couple in her stocking, and they're just a couple of dollars each, just something that's a little bit fun. I feel like when I was a kid, we had the puppy in my pocket. Let me know if you remember having something like that, because I'm sure we did when I was, I'm like 30. I'm not 30, I'm nearly 30. Um, I'll be 30 next year. Um, so what, about 20 years ago? I'm sure we had something like pup, pup, Puppy in My Pocket. So let me know if you remember anything like that from your childhood, because I'm pretty sure, pretty sure we had something along those lines. Um, next, I also got her some school hair ties. Um, her school colors are blue, so I got her blue ones. Again, a practical present that I thought she needed and she would enjoy getting anyway. 
I got her a pen, like a novelty pen. I used to love getting things like this in my stocking. He, I don't know what he is, he's some kind of bird. And then his foot comes off and the actual pen nib's in there, but it's all stuck together, so we can't do that now. Um, so I got her that from Kmart. I think it was only like $2 or something. And then to go kind of with that, I got her a, it's like a diary. It's, it's got a lock on it, but it's just a little notepad. Um, and it says, chase your dreams. Um, again, this was, I think this was, I think this was $5 from Kmart, which is very expensive for Kmart. But, um... I thought it was quite cute. I like the colours. And there was nothing really else. I was looking for something pink for her because she loves pink and I couldn't really find anything. So this is what we ended up with. Um, and it's got quite a lot of pages. She likes to write letters, write letters. And usually when we are, you know, going to bed and like, I'm tucking her in, we'll have a bit of a chat and we'll just do a bit of writing in her book, in like a, in a book. So I thought that could be good to go next to her nightstand and that would go cute with that. I don't know how she's going to go using the, the flamingo pen because it's a little bit heavier than what she's used to, but I'm sure she'll get the hang of it. I also got her this hat, which is like a full wide brim hat. We are going to the beach in January for a holiday for a couple of nights. So I wanted her to have a hat that was a full brim so that she is protected from the sun. And this one was really cute, again from Kmart and it was $8, which again, very, very pricey for Kmart, but I thought it was really cute. It's like a little straw one and it's pink and white. Like that. And then her little ornament, which is the, oh no, second last thing. I'll show you this thing actually. I've showed you this in a haul. Um, this was from Colette. It's a little like a, um, bag hang or a keychain and it's a little pom pom. They had a few different ones. They had some with eyes. They had some that were like different colors, but I just really like this one. I thought she could put that on her new school bag when she gets it. Um, we haven't picked it out yet. I wanted to find out if there's any requirements because this year they had to have a certain type of school bag. Um, and I'm pretty sure that next year it'll be a different type again. So this will be for her school bag. Um, and I thought that'd just be a cute little thing to be in there. She'll like it because it's pink and fluffy, I swear. Anything pink is awesome. And then her little ornament that I got from Bed Bath & Table is this little angel. And she's made of yarn. She's really, really cute. So she's got her little halo. And then her body is made of yarn and she just hangs there. She was $6.95, but I swear I got these ornaments for a lot cheaper than what they were advertised at. Because I'm pretty sure they had a sale on at the time. So that's cute little girl so that'll be her first ornament that she's ever gotten and that's it for the kids so like i said i don't go crazy on their stockings um they tend to just get a few little practical things and a few well this is owen's first stocking really but last year when he was about six months old in his stocking because taylor was old enough to sort of know that you know he was going to be getting presents as well i didn't want him her to feel like he was missing out um i gave him things like some rusks i got him baby cereal some spoons because he was about to start solid so i got him everything um that he would need for that and that way in his stocking. So that, that way he still got a stocking, but it wasn't too, like it wasn't a waste of money because he obviously at six months old, he wasn't gonna be using a lot of things or playing with a lot of toys. Um, so I went practical. I think that's the best thing to do when they're little, especially but before they sort of know that they want toys and things like that. So yeah, that's everything for my stocking stuffers video. I hope you found this helpful or at least entertaining. Um, and I thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you next time.